Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome back to another devotion from the book of Psalm, another uh, part of the journey and the last part of this journey experience in the book of Psalm. And we're going to go through some conclusion things and some summaries. I'm so glad you can join us this morning. If you haven't done so, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, let somebody know that we're on. Uh, we appreciate you all for joining us today. Of course, follow me on all my platforms if you can. First, before we jump into this, I, I'm probably going to say this at the end. I appreciate everyone, everyone for watching, for all the comments, all the shares, all the testimonies. Um, this thing would not have worked without you. Um, it just makes me emotional. And I just thank God for each and every one of you, whether you're here from the beginning, the middle, you came at the end. It doesn't matter. You watch one or two. It doesn't matter. Um, I count on all the privilege. You did not have to do it. And I'm just so glad that you did. And I love each and every one of you. And I appreciate you all for taking this journey with us. Um, I thought it was only going to be 150 days. It turned out to be, um, I think we started in September, I think. And now we're um, in June. And uh, we're just so glad for all of you who have just joined us in any way possible. Any shares, I, it doesn't matter. I All of it is love. I love you all and I really appreciate you and I thank God for you. All right, let's do a quick summary of this. The reason why um, I felt led to do this and one of the reasons why is because with the pandemic, you know, everybody was feeling the pressure of what was going on. And the one thing I know about scripture is that God, he is through Christ intimately acquainted with our struggles. And it was a time of hardship, a lot of people dying, a lot of people sick. There's just a lot going on from George Floyd, the whole election, just, just everything. And there was a weight on people. And the book of Psalm is a great book because it shows us the depravity of human beings. It shows us the weight of what it feels like to be a human. It goes through the ups and downs of our humanity. In the goodness of God and all of it. And it's not in in and for a long time, the church at large, not every church, church at large got so caught up on success, prosperity, and all that stuff that we lost our theology of suffering. So when seasons of suffering came, people didn't know what to do because somebody told them that every day was gonna be great, it's gonna be everything's gonna be the best. And you know, you're never going to cry no more. You're never going to be stressed again, which are all untrue. The Bible shows us that we are all going to experience some things. Life is challenging, but God is good in all of it. So as we went through the Psalms, it was to show us chapter by chapter how God moves in the human condition. That not only is this book should not only should this, this book should be just about praise, we reduce it to a book of praise, but it's also a book of prayers. So when we pray, we have the Psalms and we pray the Psalms back to God. And if you're going to speak anything, speak these Psalms, declare the word of God over your life. Get dig in, learn this stuff. Because what happens is that somebody told us that emotions were bad, our senses were bad, and all we got to do is just be in faith. Faith does not remove our emotions. Faith helps us process and govern our emotions. God did not make us robots. We get sad, we get mad, we get depressed. As you see in the psalm, the psalmist was overwhelmed. The psalmist was depressed. The psalmist had anxiety. The psalmist um, felt alone and abandoned by God and by people. It felt like enemies all around him. But in those moments, he understood something, whether it was David, Whoever, saw, whoever wrote any of this, sons of Asaph, whoever wrote any of this, Moses, what we do know is that in all of that, God hears our prayers. And even in the hardest times of our lives, God is still good. And his book teaches us to trust and believe him. Because again, faith does not deny emotions. Faith helps us process them. So I feel some type of way. But what does God have to say about this moment? And if we go through the Psalms, we see the goodness of God in the human condition. I want you to go back and watch some of these or read through the Psalms, learn them. Because why? They're strength to your soul. Some of the hardest times in my life, 
these chapters spoke to me and helped me through some of the most difficult seasons of my life. This book is a life changer for you. It, sh it helps you see that the things that you're feeling, you're not abnormal. People in scripture felt the way you felt. People in scripture had the same feelings and we watched the goodness of God in those moments. And I want you to know that God is good to you. Trust him and believe him. Go back and read him. I hope you're blessed by him. Now for the future, uh, probably in a few weeks, I don't know the start date, but we'll let you know as soon as, um, as, soon as we get it. We're gonna start walking through the book of Proverbs, okay? Now, it's not going to be every day. <laughs> it's not going to be every day like this. But what we're going to do um, more than likely is do something on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I think, I think right now, Monday's going to be Proverbs. Wednesday's going to be another topic. Friday, another topic. So each video is going to be something different. So the journey experience will be journeying through Proverbs on Monday, Wednesday, journey through something else. Uh, the, what the, and Friday, the same, but the Wednesday and Friday won't be a book in the Bible. It'll be a discussion on a certain topic. So um, I want to talk to Maya, talk to some other people, kind of see where their head is at, you know, work through it, because I want to be able to um, bring some dynamicity, if I can say that, to the experience. So stay on the lookout for that. Hopefully, uh, I just got done homeschooling yes, uh, on, uh, on Thursday. So I need y'all to um, uh, give me a break just for a minute, okay? Uh, just, give, just give me and Maya just a few weeks to kind of take a break. We'll start taping again and get ahead of schedule and then start putting stuff out. Uh, just give me a minute. I take a few days off after homeschooling and doing all this stuff. Your man is tired, if that's okay with y'all. And then we'll be back hopefully sometime in July with some stuff. You guys stay safe. I love you all. And again, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you all for joining in. And um, stay safe this summer. I know they're opening everything up. Act like you got some sense. COVID is still here. Amen. Even if you are vaccinated, COVID is still here. There are folk who got the vaccine, still catching the virus. Again, it's the vaccine doesn't stop you from getting it. All the vaccine does. It stops the worst of it. It's supposed to stop the worst of it. So be safe, stay safe, stay connected. Love you all. God bless you. And we'll see you on the other side of this whenever we do this. As they say back in there, I was going to say on the flip side. See you. <laughs> see you in a few weeks. Don't forget to join us for all this church stuff. All that stuff will still stay active. But we'll be back with something else. Again, God bless you. Love you all. And I appreciate you.